Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Drum Nick Max and Patty Wax. And probably the last episode. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be playing, but I'm pretty much going to go over some gear that I have found through my years of drumming to be pretty dang cool. And they're usually little things that you wouldn't really think about, or you may not think exist, but they totally do exist. I mean, the more you play drums, the more you kind of realize, like, the stuff that you like and like the stuff that you don't like and then you kind of develop like oh man what if someone like invented this thing and then I'm here to show you that those things are kind of invented already so pretty much I'm gonna be showing you guys little knickknacks of patty wax that I've gotten throughout the past few months and um, pretty much just review it and show it to you because I think it's cool and maybe you guys will think it's cool too so the first thing I want to be reviewing is snare weight and it's designed by Matt Strickland. And pretty much it's one solid piece of CNC brass that weighs three quarters of a pound. So pretty much there's no way you can break it unless you're like the Terminator. So Thomas Lang, just kidding Thomas. But pretty much it's a snare dampener. So it's a dampening system for your snare. And it actually has these detachable leather inserts that you can Put it in this way, or you can flip it around and put it in the other way, and you can get different dampenings. Yeah, this thing feels pretty dang solid in your hand. And the way it attaches to your hoop is it actually uses a, uh, hang on a second. It uses a global N52 Neo magnet. Not an N51, an N52 magnet. What? Come at me, bro. A lot of times when I practice, I like to hear my individual ghost notes a lot, and sometimes the snare overtones prevent that from happening, and sometimes I feel like it's a lot sloppier than it really sounds. So I used to put my wallet on my snare, and I'd be playing, and my wallet would be flying all over the place. And so I just decided to buy a snare weight, because it weighs three quarters of a pound, and it probably won't fly everywhere, and it doesn't. And it sticks to the side of my hoop, and it does not go anywhere. It doesn't even choke the snare as much as you would think it would. Like a wallet kind of chokes the snare off and it sounds like there's a wallet on there, but the snare weight is like a very, very good happy medium between like a wallet or a moon gel. Personally, I think it's a great way to dampen your snare. So if you guys want to check these out, go to www.snareweight.com or check them out on Instagram at snareweight. And no, I'm not endorsed by any of these things I'm about to show you. I just think they're really cool. So don't think this is like a commercial or anything. Next thing I want to show you guys is probably one of the best purchases I've made in a long time. And for this, we're going to roll the clip. Roll the clip! This is Bob. Bob just got done playing a gig. Was it a great gig or what, Bob? Say, Bob. What do you say we start taking down the drum set now? Go ahead and remove that wing nut right there, Bob. Uh-oh, it looks like Bob's lost his wing nut under his bass drum. Luckily for Bob, there's a solution. Introducing the Trick Drum Cymbal Quick Release. That way Bob has no more problems and he can live to be a happy man. If your quick release lasts longer than four hours, please see your doctor. Giggity. So yeah, that's pretty much what it is. It's a quick release uh, for your cymbals. So when you're at the gig and you like twist your wing nut off and then it falls down and it's under the bass drum and you're like looking for your wing nut and you can't find it, then that's why you just get these things because it's literally the click of a button. Your cymbals don't, your cymbals don't go anywhere. Like, I pull off and take my symbol off in two seconds. So, Bob is a very happy man now. It comes with an entire assembly, and it actually takes place of the entire threading on your symbol stand. You can find them for $17.99 on Amazon. I know it's kind of expensive, but if you think about it, think about like how many times you drop the wing nut and all the time you waste finding your wing nut, and be like, dang, I wish I paid $17.99. That way I don't have to look for my, I'm just, I'm really lazy guys. You don't have to buy these, I'm just lazy. Next thing I'm gonna be reviewing is something that you guys have probably already seen a lot of, but it is the SIM pads. So pretty much SIM pads are made out of, um, oh, hang on. <clears throat> SIM pads 
are made out of premium grade cellular foam to simply and effectively protect your symbols and control your sound. And no, I'm not reading these off the website. So yeah, pretty much sim pads replace your old traditional cymbal felts. And um, you actually do notice a difference. Your cymbals don't sound choked or anything. Um, you wouldn't think that a felt would do much, but they actually do. So Simpad offers like a whole bunch of colors and stuff. Um, I got white because I think it's super classy. Thank you, Andy Hall, by the way. And um, yeah, Simpad. www.simpad.com. So the next thing I'm gonna be reviewing is the Lowboy Beater. These are made in Colorado by Jeremy and Chris. And uh, the beaters are made out of, um, oh, hang on, here we go again. Lowboy beaters are made from the finest hard maple American forests have to offer. That's right. Only you can prevent forest fires. A beater weighs 3.25 pounds and it is slightly lighter than the standard DW2A beaters. I don't know what kind of magic Thomas Lang foot fairy dust they put on these things, but uh, they pack a punch. And I'm not lying, for some reason, these things feel like really good. And it's just a wood beater. But I don't know if it's the way it like slaps the drum head or something, but they're like freaking incredible. So, I, I really don't know what they do to them to make them so good. But they feel really good. That's all that matters. So, good job, low boy beaters, if you're watching this. And thank you, buddy, over at Love Custom Drums for the beater. Or let me borrow the beater, or giving me the beater. I don't know if he gave it to me or if he's letting me borrow it, but thanks, buddy. You're the man. So if you want to check these bad boys out, go to lowboybeaters.com or check them out on Instagram, they always post a bunch of cool stuff, at Beaters. Now uh, let's see what other cool stuff I can do a review on. Um, oh! This is a tiny thing, but we all need it. Drum key. This is the best drum key ever invented. It's a DW quick release drum key thing. Uh, you get them when you buy a collector series kit. Ah. You only get them if you have a collector series kit. Just kidding, you can buy them online and stuff. But they do come with collector series kits. But uh, yeah, I like to keep it next to my the key to my Lamborghini. But yeah. So anyways, it's pretty much a quick release drum key. So boom, bada boom. You always got your keys on you, right? You always got a drum key on you. Way to go, D-Dub. Way to go. All right. So the next and final thing I'm going to do a review on is... Um, Probably the most important thing in this entire video, and it's a, uh, and it's a water heater. I like to keep a, I like to keep a water heater next to my drum set because it's important to keep the water hot while you're playing playing drums. Can somebody invent something to like prevent this from happening? Apparently rim shots are really expensive. 